absolutely beautiful here. Like absolutely beautiful. I could listen to that all day long, guys. All day long. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Just a little, little towing video today. We're not towing much weight. No, we're not towing much weight today. We've got our 12 by seven enclosed trailer hooked up. Uh, if you watched, uh, if you watched my videos for a little while now, I did sort of this video uh, a couple weeks ago. I, uh, if you remember, I have this property that I'm taking care of right now for one of the companies that I work for. They have to, I have to mow their property and whip or snip. There's a question. Do you guys, you know, a grass trimmer, a whipper snipper, if you know what I mean. Have you called it a whipper snipper like your entire life? Like I have? I've always called it whipper snipping. I'm gonna grab my whipper snipper. I know the proper term is grass trimmer, but I call it a whipper snipper. You don't know what I'm talking about. Right there. You know that thing that cuts the grass around the trees and stuff. The reason why I'm asking, comment down below. Have you called it a whipper snipper? Do you call it a whipper snipper? Because Sam from V Belt and Son, he was like, what in the bleep is a whipper snipper? <laughs> anyway, let me know if you guys call it that, if you don't call it that, whatever. But anyway, the only reason why I'm making this video because we do have some really nice scenery along the way. So I'm gonna I'm gonna catch some of that on camera. Just do a little MPG test. 35 inch tires. For guys just checking in, 35, 12 and a half, 20s. Toyota Open Country AT2 Extremes. I did put 25 pounds of air in my airbags because believe it or not, this trailer only weighs about 2,000 pounds and it did sag it a little bit. That is a downfall of a 250 for sure, or a three quarter ton. Ride quality is great, but uh, you know, that little trailer right there shouldn't, shouldn't even budge that truck, but it does, it does. And these things are top heavy, you know, MPG wise, this, this trailer will affect the truck more than what my dump trailer will, you know, with 10, 12, 14,000 pounds. We should start, we should start getting into the trailer business because my yard is like a dealer here. We've got a 16 foot, we've got a five by eight, we've got a 12 by seven, we've got a 14 by seven. The dump trailer is gone, the guy's got that one. And we got this 12 by seven. Trailers, trailers, trailers. And my gooseneck, my gooseneck's gone. My 25K, my 25 plus five, 30K gooseneck trailer. But anyway, we're gonna jump in the truck. Uh, I'm gonna be driving along the water here to start out with this morning, this morning, this morning. So I'll catch some of that on camera, definitely in my Timmy's. And um, then once we get up to where we're going, it's like a look off basically. So you get to see the valley, we call it. So anyway, stay tuned. All right, fellas, we're cruising. So we are on St. Margaret's Bay Road right now in uh, Nova Scotia. You know, about 15 minutes outside Halifax, which would be our our main city in Nova Scotia. We have the water to our left. Basically, you could drive this trail for man, uh, 200, 250 miles or so basically along the coast the whole way. But we're gonna get off on an exit just down the road here. But there's some nice scenery along the way, so uh, I figured you guys might want to enjoy that. Got my Timmy's. Hi there. <laughs> what? Okay, my phone's talking to me. Anyway, all right guys, just uh,
Hey, 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 what's going on guys? Hey, what's up? Yeah, you like Uncle Tyson? Yeah, oh brother, brother Tyson, Uncle Tyson. <laughs> These are my parents' dogs. So here we are, my old stomping grounds. That's where my mother grew up. That old house over there. Here's my old stomping grounds. This is where I learned to do all the bad things that I do now and uh, a few of the good things. Hey. That's where I learned how to skate. I got that pond dug, I think, when I was like 12 or something. I could skate before that, but I spent a lot of time on that pond right there. Man, oh man, did I ever. The grass is just growing like crazy. The water's so low, we need some rain. But yeah, this is it, guys. Small town, small town upbringing. About 60 acres back there of my uncle's property to roam. Do whatever I wanted to do. But anyway, we need to get the job done. So let's uh, let's get the old deer loaded up in the trailer and head on out of here. I washed this truck like four or five days ago and we've actually had some rain a couple days and the thing still looks shiny. Adams Polishes, detail spray. Still looks nice. All right guys, we are loaded and ready to go. There's a bridge right here. I definitely spent a lot of time as a kid down in that river. I don't know if you caught that or not. Nice little small town. Great spot to grow up. I spent pretty much every day biking <laughs> from swimming hole to swimming hole when I was a kid. Main attraction is coming up right here on the right. It's called the Ross Farm Museum. And it's basically you go and people are dressed like they used to be back in the Back in the simpler, simpler times, that's for sure. The animals in there, you can see the woman there walking. She's got an old old dress on and stuff. It's, uh, it's really cool, actually. A lot of people come out to this. It's pretty neat. They do like, you know, like making butter and they show you how that's get made. And they do all the, all the farm chores, like back, back how it was done, you know, Back in the 1900s, early 1900s, it's pretty cool. It's a history of our of our town, basically. But we're just gonna go through. There's my school that I went to. We're just gonna go through the town. The town is right up there. It's not a town, actually. It's a community, a village, very small. I think we're a population of like 1,500 or something. Don't quote me on that. But uh, this is what we call the cross for us, <laughs> for us locals. It's because there's like a four-way thing through here. And, uh, you know, this is basically it. We've got three churches, bang, 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 right there. We've got a, we've got a hardware store. We've got a little grocery store with an agency liquor store in it. And we've got our one gas station. And that's it. That's the town. Here is uh, on the left is our fire hall. We actually have a really nice fire hall for such a small town. The guys take really good care of it. Have lots of dances and stuff there. So that's the fire hall. And uh, the last thing really is our is our fairgrounds where we have our farmers uh, association community fair, which actually was last weekend and I wasn't able to make it out because my uh, wife is like ready to have a baby. There's where they have all the ox poles and stuff. That's brand new. They just built that this year. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it. That's that's uh, that's where I grew up. You blink, you miss it, but I love it. It's a really nice, nice small town. Very friendly people. Yep. Actually, I got one more. I got one more place to show you. 
I'll show you where my, you saw where my, where my mother grew up, right next to where I grew up. And I'll show you where my father grew up. So, you know, being from a small town, they, uh, you know, obviously, most people in this town, they met their high school sweetheart and settled down with them, had kids. And that's how, that's how it goes. But yeah, right up here on the right hand side, I used to coast down that hill a lot. Sled, coast, whatever you want to call it. Another one maybe for you, Sam. But there is my father's old house. It's abandoned right now, just like my mother's old house. And yeah, that's it guys. That's that's my that's the history of me right there in a nutshell. Alright, so now we are in the Enapolis Valley. And we're just getting ready to go down the South Mountain. So we got the South Mountain here, and in the far, far distance, which the camera probably can't pick up, is the North Mountain, which we're gonna end up eventually. But we go down the South Mountain, and then down below, I will we'll drive through there a bit, through a little town called Wolfville. I won't go through the town, but on the outskirts, man, this road is rough. And uh, down there is where all the farmers, farmers grow their crops, because the soil is unbelievable. Like in where I'm at, in just outside of Halifax, it's all rock. It's crap for for soil. And up here, you can dig for days and then barely touch a rock. But uh, anyway, we're gonna make a turn here on the left and head up and get this job done. My ears just popped. I can hear the exhaust break. It does work, but it doesn't work as well as what I wish it would. this bugger up down up down up down that's Nova Scotia in a nutshell really if you want to drive some flat grounds <laughs> don't don't come to Nova Scotia or most of New Brunswick, certainly not Cape Breton, certainly not Newfoundland, although there is sections through Central. Um, PEI is pretty flat. There's not a whole lot going on over there in PEI as far as hills and mountains and stuff goes. But we're climbing and climbing and climbing here. See the tower in the distance? That's where we're going. Hills and turns. That sums up driving in Nova Scotia. But it can be a lot of fun. A lot of nice scenery. Last time I came here, I missed my driveway. So I'm going to put the camera away, and that way I won't miss it. It's a nice spot here. Alright boys, she is done. Mowed for another couple weeks. So there in the distance is the North Mountain. Like I said, right now we are on the South Mountain. In a bit. North Mountain, so that's where we're going next. But we're gonna be way down that way. So from that mountain, we'll get a view of over here. So we are now in the valley between the North Mountain and the South Mountain. And this section here is called the dikes. So they actually built some dikes because the the water, the ocean, is out that way. And they built these dikes in case the water ever got so high it would come in and fill the dikes full before it would continue to go. So they actually mow these fields. There's there's uh, actually vegetables and fruit and stuff in there too. And up here we're going to get uh, one of the rivers that's fed by the Bay of Fundy. And the Bay of Fundy is actually the highest tides in the world. So right now we'll get a look and see if the tide's in or the tide, yeah, the tide's in. So right now the tide is all the way in. You can see the water like up to the bottom of those pillars. That tide drops like 20 feet or more. So when the tide is out, there's like hardly no water in there and the water's actually like 20 to 25 feet deep. So the highest tides in the world, this little town here is called Port Williams. 
nice little spot. That spot back there actually where you could sort of see that patio, that was a, that was a restaurant and a brewery there. It's a really nice, really nice spot. But yeah, and if you are not from the area, the uh, you know, or familiar with the Bay of Fundy, it's it's pretty incredible. It's pretty incredible. When the tide starts coming in, there's like a tidal bore, and it comes in and it comes in fast. And it is really unbelievable. Um, if I was to drive through there again when the tide's low, you honestly would not believe it. You're gonna see a lot in this area. Farm fields on top of farm fields on top of farm fields whoa there's a great maneuver there that was sweet yeah good stuff the valley I was actually I've been actually trying to find land up here for oh about a year now but uh, I'm looking for a big piece I don't want just a few acres I want to I want a nice big piece where I can build my forever home lots of room for my dogs you know get some get a few farm animals that's what I'm looking for it's funny like in around Halifax and you know in around the ocean on that side it could be raining, it could be foggy, and you start driving towards here, towards the valley, and you get here, and it's like this. The weather here is, they get a lot more snow in the winter time, but the weather here is beautiful. The only thing you gotta put up with is the smell of manure. They use it for fertilizer, and it's pretty stanky. This is the last little town before we get to where I'm going. This is called Canning. Lots of old houses here, tons of bed and breakfast. There's a couple wineries here. A lot of big, humongous willow trees, maple trees. I remember this little spot, this little town, most for right up here, this this statue, this monument. I always remembered this place because of this. Right there. Okay, so we're starting to make our ascent slightly on the North Mountain, but once we get to the base of the mountain, I'll start recording again. It's a pretty good climb up there. I've taken I've taken my 550 with the Kubota behind me, so 30,000 pounds I've taken up over this hill, and I've come down this hill, this mountain. I've come up, I went up this mountain and came down this mountain. And uh, she's a good test for her, that's for sure. She's a hell of a pull. All right, let's do it. Let's get into this. It's not gonna be much of a test for this truck with this with this load, but I can tell you when I was staring at this at this mountain when I was coming up here in my 550, it uh, <laughs> I was just thinking, man, do not lose momentum and start coasting backwards because it's obviously anything this steep, you have to have quite a few switchbacks. And that's what they have. Here's the first one. So it's not just straight up. So if you lose your speed or you're coasting backwards, you're not coming around these turns, that's for sure. But here we go. Getting real now. It might not seem like we're up here that far until we get to the top and I show you. We're climbing. Cameras don't do don't do grades a good justice. But the footage from the top here does. 
We're just hanging out in fourth gear right now. 1600 RPM. My ears have popped twice. <laughs> Just about at the top. Alright, here we are. Check that out. Yeah. Didn't believe me, did ya? Alright. We're at the top. We came this long ways. The tide's really high. Beautiful spot out there. So that in the far distance, way over there, that's the South Mountain. That's where we started, that's where we just left from. And then there's actually a tower. I can see a tower in the distance right over there and I think that's where we were. But she's a long ways down there. I've featured this shot in a few videos so far. We actually have a tower site right there so I actually get to come up here fairly often which is which is pretty cool but yeah she's nice guys beautiful this is called the look off pretty self-explanatory <laughs> all right so I figured I came this far I might as well drive another five minutes down the road and uh, sort of give you a glimpse of a spot called Cape Split so if you Google Cape Split, Nova Scotia, it will bring up all kinds of photos, you know, oh, actually on the split. So it's a hike. Uh, it probably takes you, I think it takes you like an hour, hour and a half to get out there. It's a nice hike. It's a good workout. And once you get out there, you have incredible view of, of the ocean, obviously, but a view of the um, sort of the backside of the North Mountain. And you can also see across to like Parsboro and try to, uh, I haven't been down here for years, so I'm gonna try to get out there a bit anyway, somewhere I can actually turn the truck and trailer around and see if I can get a little bit of footage of, of what I'm talking about. Actually is like way out there. And the reason why it's called Cape Split is because like a piece of the, cape you know broke off and there's like a couple hundred feet or more between that piece and and the rest of the rest of the land it's pretty pretty awesome like it really is it's 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 a nice hike and you can go out there and have a picnic carry a couple beer with you and in the backpack if you want it's a pretty pretty cool spot the tide is really high like super, super, super high. But yeah, it's way out there. Way out there the end. That's what I'm talking about. This is called Scott's Bay in here. It's a nice, nice little spot. All right, guys, so it's gonna be pretty windy. Nice breeze coming off the water. Where I was working up on top of the South Mountain, it was like 28 degrees. It's like 18 or 19 degrees here right now. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up again, but on the far side, that's another land mass. That's not the side where we were. So this Cape Split comes out to the point and then stops. But that's a whole nother body of land out there. That is New Brunswick, I believe. Actually, it's you know it's another province altogether. We were, this is the North Mountain, we were over there, and then the South Mountain is way, 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 way in the distance. And the reason why the water is that color is because Along the shore here, there's uh, a lot of like clay and red sand. So when the tide comes in, it sort of gathers it and murks it up. But here's the shoreline. You know, it's rock, but there's some red sand and, and clay and stuff out there that brings it in. But it is absolutely beautiful here. Like absolutely beautiful. I could listen to that all day long, guys. All day long. All right, fellas, we are back. There's our trip, 12 MPG. 
that's pretty damn good I'm uh, I'm very happy with that all right we're back to the homestead hey buddy go for a pee eh yeah so we are back uh, as you can see the truck did really good on uh, mileage 12 12 mpg that's uh, really good better than my old 350 v10 6.8 liter v10 used to get empty and this thing had a trailer behind it so that's the diesels right there fellas yeah it's the diesels you try one you can't go back but uh yeah i hope you guys like those sort of style of videos i do a lot of traveling so i can i get to see quite a few different areas of of all the atlantic provinces that's the definitely the best part of boat my work for sure is i've i've definitely seen places that i would not have seen if it wasn't for doing this and wendell has too he's been to new brunswick with me he's been to cape breton with me he's been to pei with me he's been to every province with me come on buddy come on i'm gonna get that i'm gonna get that i'm gonna get that i'm gonna get that <laughs> anyway guys i gotta play with my dogs here for a second get myself in shape and get them some exercise so as always hope you liked the video if you liked it hit the like button hit the subscribe button and until you next until next time stay safe see you then see ya bye